local music fans, welcome to another month here at the Urban Lounge for Slug Localized, April 2015. I'm your host and slug writer, Rachel Jensen. And this month we've got three local hip hop bands for you. Yes, hip hop does exist in Salt Lake City, Utah. And this month is brought to you by our sponsors, 801 Pilsner by Uinta Brewing Company, Spilt Ink Salt Lake City Screen Printing, and KRCL Radio 90.9 FM. So tonight hitting the stage, you'll see Swell Merchants. Next up is gonna be Dine Crew. Finishing off the night, you'll see Better Taste Bureau. Check it out, we'll see you later. Uh, fuck what they say, fuck what you doing, fuck your music, can't hear why you fucking do it. Fuck your man, but she the loose, and your sister sweat profusely. When she see me on YouTube, only got like a hundred views, but she can't feel like 32. Saw me fast, me just me 32. Throw me put on for the city like 32. Call my lawn, oh my goodness, these illegitimate children. Walk around with my features, baby. I say our genres more like punk rap. It's kind of how I've always thought of it. It's kind of like out there, like really anti what's going on, but not in like a hater kind of way, more of like, I don't know. I feel like we got good taste, so we feel like we can make stuff that people would want to like. To be honest, the longer we've been doing it, the more we've adapted to the lifestyle. I mean, like we've always been living the lifestyle, but um, us rapping, people like listening to our music kind of enables us a little more to do the ratchet ass shit that we like to do. And I feel like, honestly, if you heard like our first few songs, like we definitely progress. Like it's crazy. Like definitely the raps have gotten better. It's just is like that competitive nature, and this is like that confidence is yeah, starting, like, to, starting to come just build. Like we wanna, like we said, we wanna progress it. So it's like we just gotta try new stuff. <laughs> I think that locally we just have we just have a different sound than people. It comes from all the weird shit that we listen to. That would be it. My man pick love. Question being, how do we get our inspiration? Where does it come from? It comes from this man right here. Tireless, extended work Not periods. Smoking. In the cave. Too much that I can I can't really say any more information about that. We're trying to drop at least three albums this year, so. Dying crew with a K. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Woo! In the city with little brother syndrome Big brother hip hop was never known to give room He doesn't know we've been here Sneaking around in his room He's either taking hits How we're in here making hit tunes And when it registers I ask him if he's happy for his stove Tops and registers Reality is better Sir sugar coated and never heard He sat back in his chair Stand no less Said the words Gold all on my watch Gold all on my chain But that chain holding you back Is what's keeping us from change I don't think you understand It's not out of our range Yeah the beat was hot the message, the same as the League of Producers. So I think that we draw lyrically from people like Lupe Fiasco, Common, uh, but a lot of our our influence, like production-wise, I would say, is a fuse between trap music and current day like indie sounds like Phanagram and XX, his inspirations. Sure. Life experiences will throw you things that inspire you, right? You know, about certain aspects of life that you didn't feel. You know, you went through trials, and those trials make the best songs. The, the songs I feel the most proud of are the ones where I'm talking about things that actually happened in my life. So, growing from experience in life and drawing on the music. Yeah, it's their biggest achievement since Twilight playing, um, playing that. That was really fun. Um, it was a great experience for us. It's been a great resume builder. We've also played like Red Fest at the U. It was really yeah, great so as well. Yeah, so was a big... Well, well yeah, we've done like Summer Jam. Um, last year, our album release, we had over 600 people there um, at the Complex and for rap. That's unheard of here. Um, yeah. So that was pretty awesome. That was a huge milestone for us. And just... It really was 
too, because like, I remember just that feeling. Like last year, we hit a lot of just super cool things that we've always wanted to do. So going forward, you know, just making better music that applies here with our same fans, but also we grow bigger, you know, outside of here, being more universal, and also making more videos and just really like stretch, like push ourselves with music, not just kind of do what we're comfortable with.